all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. I am going to be doing a skincare review with you guys. So before I even get into the video, like a little disclaimer I guess you could say, this video first of all is not sponsored in any way shape or form. This is all directly just my opinion. I am a licensed esthetician. I have been for two years and I've been in the beauty industry for over five years. So when I kind of give my review on either makeup or skincare, it's not that I'm like highly educated or that I really feel like my opinion means all, but I'm giving you like my honest opinion. No one's paying me to give you this. This is just what I think is good brand and I have just a little bit of insight into the industry. Another kind of, um, I don't wanna say disclaimer, I guess what I was gonna say, another thing is, is that this. A lot of times when I do talk about skincare, it probably will be more targeted to younger skin, to acne skin. It won't always be for more anti-aging or more mature skin, just because I'm not in that stage of life yet. So a lot of the products I'm gonna be talking about, most of them are for acne skin. I know a lot of people struggle with acne, especially adult acne, obviously I do. We all think by the time we're done being teenagers, acne will be a thing of the past. And that is rarely the case actually, especially being women, we're gonna deal with a lot more acne due to hormones, pregnancies. Our skin is always gonna kind of be going up and down a little bit more. So when I always look for skincare, I always look for really good brands and I also always look for something that, is, that will target acne. I don't always use things that are specifically targeted for acne just because you don't always need stuff that are specifically labeled for acne. A lot of times you can find things, even in the anti-aging realm, that will work really well for people that have acne. And when I say acne, if you have really, really bad cystic acne where you have the hard nodules under your skin, you have very inflamed, deep pimples that you feel like you can't pop or, you know, just a lot of that, that is more what obviously I said cystic acne. And those are things more dermatologists can really help with, even though sometimes using certain, you know, face cleansers or moisturizers can help with that. So this is more of kind of like your moderate to mild acne. The first couple things I want to talk about, <clears throat> I went out there and I was seeing this line, or as I was seeing a lot of advertisement for this new line called La Roche Posay. I mean, I was getting advertised the heck out of it. I mean, I saw it on Facebook, I was seeing it. Well, was it on Facebook? It was Facebook and YouTube. And I saw other YouTubers recommending this brand, especially a lot of their um, lotions. And I had went out and I bought a lotion actually from this brand that was targeted towards eczema. My daughter does have, or she deals with a lot of bad eczema. So once I got it and she was using the lotion and it was really working, I wanted to look more into what else this brand had and saw that they had actually an acne line. And they had this little trio of an acne system here. And I'll kind of show you here. So I was really interested by it. I know a lot of times when you use these, these can really work for some people but there is, these can sometimes be a double-edged sword as well. And what I mean that is when somebody like me who can deal with maybe some congestion, um, I deal with more pimples maybe, you know, at certain times of the month and not always I will get whiteheads, but it's more of just kind of like that underlying congestion. This can sometimes bring out that congestion to kind of help clear the skin, but it can also cause a little bit of inflammation into the skin. So this, I'm going to first talk about the face wash. This is a face wash with 2% salicylic acid. Now that is a very basic. You can find this in so many products, professional or drugstore brand. Most of them will always have a 2% salicylic acid in there. And this is really good. This is a great facial cleanser. I really like this one. It has a very nice minty kind of menthol smell to it, which will also kind of help refresh in the skin. This doesn't leave my skin overly tight feeling, so it's not overly drying either. So this is a very nice, you know, face wash. If you, I mean, most face washes are pretty across the board. I mean, I don't think you're gonna find one that's gonna be overly drying. There are some out there that can leave your skin feeling tight and dry, and that's not always a good feeling when washing your face. You want your face to kind of feel refreshed and clean. You don't always want it to be like squeaky clean, but you want it to feel clean. So I really do like this. And I still recommend this face wash. 
well still, I've never recommended it before. But if I were to recommend this to anybody, this is a really nice face line. Obviously drugstore brand, but is that a steeper price? So that was another thing is that sometimes these drug, drugstore brands are kind of creeping up into more of the higher end price. And when I mean higher end price range, I mean stuff that you can find at Ulta. And then there from like Ulta and Sephora, you would find things that you can buy at your dermatologist's office or at your local spa. And this, I think, this whole line that I bought was $30. So for these three products, $30, it's not a bad price. But for drugstore brand, it is a little bit steep up there. And the next thing that comes in there is the clarifying solution. Now this is a 0.5% toner. Do I really think you need a toner? No. I mean, toners aren't doing much for your skin. This also has 2% glycolic acid in it. So what this is really gonna be doing is it will help exfoliate your skin. A lot of times that's what especially in the acne line, what these toners are for is to help exfoliate your skin. And when you are exfoliating, exfoliating your skin, you're taking off that top layer of dead skin cells to help penetrate products deeper into your skin. So that's the purpose of this. It's a very nice toner. It works really well. It doesn't have an overly strong scent. It's not gonna burn or sting your skin. It does kind of help get off any excess dirt that maybe you missed with your wash. But like I said, I don't always feel like you need a toner. I just feel like sometimes it's an unnecessary step that you don't always need. If you're doing a double cleanse, this seems kind of pointless to me. This is sometimes what this is for, is that if you didn't double cleanse and you just did one cleanse with your makeup and everything, this will help get rid of any excess off of your skin and kind of help exfoliate it. I don't always think this is necessary. And then the next step is obviously the actual acne treatment. So if you have a spot of acne, this is what you would use. This has a 5.5% of benzyl peroxide. Now that's kind of steep, <laughs> a little bit, but you're only using this in one specific area. So if you were ever have a pimple anywhere, or maybe kind of, you know, a little spot in your skin, this is where you're gonna place it. Benzyl peroxide and salicylic is a really great combo when it comes to acne. This is what, oh, what was that brand? What is it? Uh, proactive. So this is what Proactive was kind of made off of, was using salicylic and benzyl peroxide together. When these two work together, they work really great at clearing acne because they're kind of targeting acne in a different way. So they work really nicely together. But I feel like when you get all three of these together, what's going to happen is that your skin is going to start to get dried out because you're using so much salicylic from these two products plus you're putting benzoyl peroxide on the certain areas and it's kind of just creating more inflammation on your skin and it's really going to start drying your skin out this little trio doesn't come with a moisturizer and that's one thing that is really hard with acne skin is a lot of people are afraid to moisturize their skin they feel like they need to dry their skin out which is true in a way because a lot of times acne skin can come from an overproduction of oil and sebum but sometimes you get that overproduction from having too dry of skin caused by too drying products. So that's something that I don't really like about what this is going on here is there's no moisturizer. You're not replenishing your skin with the right lipids that your skin needs. So your skin will go into overdrive trying to rehydrate your skin. So it's going to make more oil and more sebum, which is just going to tell spin you into more of a acne problem. <laughs> So that's what kind of bugged me with this line. It did really cause for me a lot of inflammation on my skin due to the fact that there was so much salicylic, glycolic, and benzyl peroxide in each of these products that it was causing an, a lot of inflammation. So a lot of times when I had deeper congestion, I put it on those spots and it was doing its job by trying to bring the acne out to the surface of the skin, but it was causing a lot of inflammation, which can cause a lot of pain and a lot of redness. So I'm a little on the fence line with this. Like I said, I think out of all of these products, out of this little trio, I really like the salicylic wash. I feel like if you're dealing with a mild to moderate form of acne, you don't have a lot of cysts, you know, you just kind of get hormonal acne every once in a while, maybe you have some congestion. At most, I would recommend a salicylic cleanser and maybe a moisturizer that has salicylic in it. And I'm gonna talk about this in a little bit. 
But you guys need to really keep in mind that when you're dealing with acne, you still really need to moisturize your skin. And you don't wanna get your skin overly dry. Once you're using these products with these ingredients in it, they're gonna do their job. But you still gotta replace the moisture back into your skin. So I was a little disappointed with this. And after really looking more into this brand, I got even a little bit more disappointed because I was expecting a different brand that was really going to do different things, but this is actually a company owned by L'Oreal. And that is another thing that I kind of wanted to dive into is that it doesn't matter if you buy a high-end product versus your drugstore product. All of these companies have the same access to the ingredients and they have the same ingredients in them. One is not better than the other. Sure, maybe your more high-end one might have maybe a higher percentage of ingredients versus your drugstore brand, but most of the time they're gonna be the same. So keep that in mind when buying something. If you can find a really great dupe at the drugstore, just buy the drugstore brand. They're, got, they're all gonna do the same thing, and that's kind of even with makeup. They're all getting it from the same place, they're all made within the same factory. They're all owned by the same company. So it's not like if you pay more money, you're not always necessarily gonna get a better product all the time. There is always exceptions to certain things, but just kind of keep that in mind. So of course, talking about moisturizing your skin with acne, you really wanna make sure that you do. For me personally, my skincare routine, and maybe one day I'll do a video of kind of like my nightly skincare routine, is obviously I do a double cleanse and I always make sure that I moisturize my skin, but in the morning, I don't wash my skin. And that might surprise some people, especially people with acne. You're gonna be like, well, why don't you cleanse your skin in the morning? Well, if you do your proper routine at night, these products will have time to work onto your skin during the nighttime. And by morning comes, if you cleanse your skin, you're kind of just getting rid of all what you did during the night. So I don't wash my face in the morning. I kind of rinse with warm water and then I go into using moisturizers and a sunscreen. So this one moisturizer that I've been using, this is by Vichy Laboratories. This is the Norman Day Photo Action Acne Control Daily Moisturizer. This is obviously an oil-free moisturizer. So this is more of like your gel based. So this is something that I would re really recommend to somebody that does have acne. When really wanting to moisturize your skin, you do want to make sure that you're using a good moisturizer. This is really good for, I would say, probably more, you know, your daily morning moisturizer. It has 2% salicylic acid in it again. Like I said, that's your pretty generic, cross the board, what you're going to find in most products. Even the spa brands that we used to carry, like Image, you're always going to find 2% salicylic acid in your moisturizers and in your cleansers. This is a really nice one. This one had a really kind of um, almost of a menthol, but more of like that tea tree oil scent to it. And I don't know for sure if it has actual tea tree in it. I didn't look too far into it, but it does have a lot of good things in it. And what it claims is that it will help your skin feel moisturized. It will help feel more softened and feel more comfortable after the first use. And I will say those claims that it made, I feel like was pretty true. My skin did feel very moisturized. It didn't feel overly tight or overly greasy. It was comfortable. And it does say that after one week, your skin will have a healthy glow. Your texture will look more refined and your skin will feel more supple. So over all the claims that this made, I feel like it's pretty accurate. I don't feel like it's promising you anything that you're not gonna get. It's a moisturizer, your skin will feel more supple and soft. It has 2% salicylic acid, so it will help with your acne, it will help with your overall texture of your skin. This is just a really nice moisturizer for acne skin. So like I said, this is from Vichy Laboratories, the Norman Day Photo Action Moisturizer. The next moisturizer I'm gonna talk about is one that I picked up from a wholesale site. So this was a wholesale site that my mom and I used to order things off of and we still every once in a while we'll get on there and order things. And we came across this one brand, this is Earth Harbor. And this is like a smaller company. So these batches are made in small batches. And I think that's what we really liked about this. It is plant-based, it's non-GMO, it's vegan, cruelty-free. There is no gluten added in, in this product or so soy. And this is a, I guess a woman owned company. So this is called the Siren Silk Multitask, Multitasking 
hydrating cream. It has C retinol and C curves in it. So this is a very marine based moisturizer. So if you at all have any allergies to any, you know, shellfish or anything, you probably might want to steer clear of this. They do now a lot of the times when making a product that has a lot of ingredients from the ocean or the sea, they do have ways to take almost those allergens out of it. But if you're always unsure, I would just kind of steer clear from them. But this was a really nice cream. I liked it. This now does have a very strong scent to it. Smelling it right away. Again, it almost kind of smelled like tea tree, maybe kind of like that Melaleuca, very clean scent to it. It almost reminded me of like a cleaner, like an actual kitchen cleaner that I feel like I had at one point. And this is a very much of a thicker cream. So this would be a really good night cream. Now, when my mom and I got it, we were kind of both testing this at the same time. She didn't like it. She did not like the scent. She, it was too strong for her. And I don't know if she liked wearing it at all. Did you like wearing this at all? This moisturizer? Was it too heavy on your skin? Yeah, she thought this was too heavy on her skin. She didn't like the feel of it. Now, to me, I was using this a lot at night and I actually felt like it helped with my acne because there is a retinol in this. It really helped with my discoloration. So when I get acne, I get really bad dark spots just from the acne and from just my skin tone. I just kind of am more prone to getting a little bit more dark spots on my skin. This really kind of helped clear them up a little bit quicker. I don't feel like it clogged my pores at all, but it is a bit of a heavier cream. So I did go a little bit on the lighter side of using it. The scent on this doesn't last very long, which is nice. So if it, the scent does bug anybody, it doesn't last for very long on this product. It has a lot of great ingredients on it. Just looking at the back, I mean, there's aloe leaf on it, sweet almond oil, there's blueberry fruit extract, there's, you know, what is it? B vitamins in there, vitamin E. There's a lot of great ingredients in this. So I really feel like when using this, it is really replenishing your skin with the lipids and the vitamins that your skin needs at the end of the night. So this I think is a really great one. And like I said, I never noticed that it clogged my skin. Um, I've always talked about this sunscreen by Dragon Elephant. I'm still using this one up. And the only reason why I'm bringing it up again is just because I do think everybody needs to be wearing a SPF during the day, especially even if the sun is out, if it's rainy, cloudy, if it's winter, and the sun isn't shining, you still need sunscreen every single day. The sun will find you one way or another, but I do think you can find a cheaper brand at the store, at the drugstore. I don't think you need to pay $30 for a sunscreen. I think a lot of the ones, your $15 ones, are going to do just as good of a job as this one. But make sure that you are getting just a mineral sunscreen with just zinc. Don't buy your non-mineral sunscreens. I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of right now, but just always make sure you buy an actual mineral sunscreen. So another product that I want to talk about, these two ones, these are more of a makeup or they are a makeup product. Um, this one was this River Organics Skin Highlighter and it comes in a stick and this is sh like, it's all organic. The only thing, the ingredient list is really small. It's shea butter, it's candela wax, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, vitamin E, titanium dioxide and mica. And this is such a beautiful highlighter. I've been obsessed with using this because I use it underneath my eyes in the morning and it gives my eyes such a beautiful glow to them. It makes me look more awake. And if you can just kind of see that beautiful subtle highlight to it, this is such a beautiful product. This is so great. I use it even multiple times during the day and I'll put it underneath my eyes, up on my cheekbones. It just helps me look more refreshed and more awake. I just really wanted to mention it because I got it the same time I was buying this one and I just really love this one. Now the last skincare product I'm going to talk about is these Mighty Patches. I've been seeing these a whole lot all over the place and I've always wanted to try them so I finally picked them up. These are supposed to help get rid of your acne. Like if you have a really big pimple and you're like, gosh, I got like something big going on tomorrow. You're supposed to slap one of these on and it will help speed up the healing time and it will kind of visibly show that it's working. I think you can also use these. They come in two forms. They have a nighttime one and then they have an invisible one for during the day. Now, obviously the invisible one for during the day, I think is pretty nice, especially if you are going somewhere and you kind of want to hide that acne spot. 
it is a pretty sneaky way to hide it. But the thing that I think about this is that they're kind of overly hyped. And unless you have a really big white head pimple, and when I mean a white head pimple, I mean you see the whiteness of that pimple coming out and you can probably just pop it. Instead of popping it and kind of damaging your skin, you're supposed to put one of these on and it will help. For that reason, these will work, but if you just kind of have a small spot or maybe it's some redness and you kind of see that pimple coming out, these aren't gonna work. And again, I just think they're overly hyped. They're not gonna, it's just hydrocolited. It's not anything that's gonna really get rid of that acne spot. It's more just gonna help the inflammation of it. So for that reason, I don't really recommend these. I think using an acne treatment like this that has benzoyl peroxide in it, this is gonna treat the acne more than this will. So these are really overly hyped and not worth your money. Just saying. So that's kind of it for now. I just kind of want to go over just a few of these kind of just skincare that I've been trying out. I'm really enjoying some of them, like I said. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. And please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you all next time.